Welcome back. It's your host, Mr. Gray. I just want to thank you for tuning in today. Um, if this is your first time, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So when I do drop another video, you are made aware that I have some very, very, very important sneaker news for you. Um, outside of that, I just want to say welcome. Um, today we are here to talk about the Nike Dunk Low Siempre Familia, which means always family. And I'm just going to be honest with you, this shoe does not disappoint. Um, in one of my previous videos, I did state how this video, this sneaker did remind me, not in colorway, not in tradition, but it, it was kind of, it still reminded me of the Dunk Low um, Undefeated, the one that kind of had an aqua bluish color and also had a, um, had a, um, a, I don't know, snake skin, whatever, alligator skin, whatever you want to call that, that, um, the skin, the, I guess the skin looking on the leather, the way it looked. Either way, it did. they remind me of each other, even though they really don't look anything alike. I don't know why. They just do. And I never got that shoe. I've always wanted it, and I still want it. Anyway, moving along. We are talking about Always Family. So this shoe is beautiful. The colorway is Carbon Green Rift Blue Sail. And it's honoring Mexican culture and tradition, um, the, it, honoring specifically Dia de Mortez, which hopefully I said that correctly is um the day of the dead which is a uh, um i can't explain it very well sorry um but it is a tradition in mexican culture um i, I would say and i know about it but i don't want to i don't want to misspeak on it so i am not gonna go into it um but for those who do know a little bit more about it feel free to put it in my comments i know i will google it later and learn a little bit more but i apologize for not having the best explanation of it either way um it is a beautiful sneaker I, of course, I'm going to talk about it in the light box to show the details, but I know I typically go, I typically show you guys the shoe box, like right here, but the shoe box is even really, really nice. The details on it, it's just nice. Um, so I'm going to actually show the shoe box in the light box as well, because there's just so much detail on it and it's really, really nice to look at. So I think before we go over there, um, no, nah, I don't, I was going to say, I think I'll read this from the the Nike page, but I don't know if I really want to read about it. Um, I will go into the resale real quickly. I think I will. Let me see. What is the what is the resale looking like on these guys? So I don't have any plans on selling mine to you know to tr or trading them to so I can get something else. But in my size, they are going for about. Let me see. They last sold for two oh six. So these retail for one twenty. So I mean, if you're flipping these, are actually it's actually not a bad flip. It, um, better flip, of course, if you're doing it locally, whatever. Um, this shoe is it's really nice. Uh, if you if you flip it, you lost a really good shoe. But I'm sure if you're flipping it, you're flipping it for a good reason. You either need the money or you're trying to get another shoe that you like even more. Um, or whatever. Whatever your reasoning is for. But either way, um, like I said, it's going for about 206 200 or so. So it's still just a beautiful shoe. We're not going to waste any more time, guys, because um, this... This is really nice. It's not a basic shoe. You know, I get so many shoes and some of them are like, oh, this is a shoe I've I've talked about 10 times or 100 times, but the color changes slightly. But, you know, this is one of those more unique ones where you actually get so many small details that are just different from your regular shoe that you really can kind of delve into it. So I'm really excited to talk about it. Um, so without further ado, into the light box. So into the light box, as promised, we have the Nike Dunk Low Siempre Familia. Hopefully I said that correct. I need to stop saying that after every time I say something that's not English. I'm, I, I got a pattern of doing that. Either way, I'm, I'm just going to have confidence that I said it right. And if not, somebody who's a friend of mine, it will correct me. Either way, moving along, it is a beautiful shoe, as you can see. Before we really jump into the shoe, as I say, you know, we typically do the, do the box. We typically look at the box over over in my regular chair, but this box just has so much sexiness to it. We have to take a look at it right here. So uh, let's start with <laughs> my size, 10 and a half. Right there, you see you have that skull right there and, and it's, its nostril is actually a Nike symbol. Isn't that cool? That is pretty cool. Let me, let me turn that a couple ways so you guys can check it out. Then on the side right here, you have Siempre. Get that, get that clear. Then you have the symbols, Day of the Dead symbols over across the top right there. 
Check it out. It's just beautiful. This this is right here is actually this iguana is actually on the shoe. There you go. Siempre familia. And then you got a full green side here with familia on it. And you can see the Nike check. It has that nice um, Day of the Dead look going with it. The the actual designs and stuff. Now, the, the left. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see the bottom. Y'all, I literally, like I said, I knew, I've had people in my comments say, he acts like he doesn't even know anything about the shoe. Guys, what I try to say, what I've said before, those who've been here before, I literally get them in the mail, and I like to have an original reaction. So I typically try not to look at the shoe too much because I really, really want my reactions to be genuine. I'm going to stop explaining that one day, but today's not today. So you see you have that nice, cool little rib cage right there. That is super fly. Oh, my God, that is nice. Now, and the last thing you have is the top. Now, check that out. Oh, hold on. Let me hold it back so you guys can see it. You see how that is? Nike. Nike with the with all the um the symbology from the Day of the Dead. It doesn't get any cooler than that. I mean, they really they really dug in their bag for this one. They weren't trying to cheat anybody. I, I really like how they did that. So let's just, I really can look at this like a ton. It's just I I'm just I'm pretty. I hope this honors those who do do celebrate the Day of the Dead well. I hope it represents how they feel it should. Um, you know, I, I can't speak to that, unfortunately. But like I said, I do hope that this shoe is something that they find special. I, I, I'm not, I don't even celebrate the Day of the Dead, and I find this shoe pretty special. But now I want to celebrate the Day of the Dead. I want to try it out. Sorry, guys. Apologize. I don't know if that was offensive. But if it was, I do apologize. Anyway, moving along. Let's jump into the shoe. Let's back up all right bam now i guess before we get into all the details of the shoe let's just ex i'm going to explain the only difference between the two shoes the only difference between the two shoes is what is on the insole and on the insole of one you have the um let me see oh, there we go let's turn it in there i don't even know if you guys can see that on the insole of one you have a skull with a, um, like a, I guess not a real diamond, but the, uh, a design of a diamond in the eye. And the, on the other insole, you have Siempre Familia with the um, Nike swoosh, with the Nike swoosh in the middle of it. Like I said, I hope you guys can see that. But if not, I explained it pretty well. Other than that, the whole shoe is exactly the same. So let's start with the outsole. So you see you have that icy outsole right there. Nice and clear. Check that out. No designs. No designs under the outsole, just white. Well, really not white. It's really what the midsole is. So that midsole is a kind of a creamy, off-white color. You know, one of my favorite colors, you guys. Um, and as you can see throughout, the texture of the shoe is all pretty much like an iguana texture. Of course, it's a mixture of um, leather and suede. Now, 95% of the shoe is really is really is really that leather that has that iguana feel so you can kind of feel the dots kind of let me see if i can get a little close up on that you can kind of feel the dots like right here on that part here but this has a little bit different of a texture it has that more of a iguana iguana look here this to me kind of be honest with you kind of reminds me of like a boa constrictor or something but anyway i'm, I'm out of i'm out of hand here that that's not what the description is for this shoe um, as you can see, you have more Day of the Dead um, symbology here going through the whole swoosh. Now, the suede that I told you about, that 5% suede is actually in the swoosh. And let's see if I can pull in right there. See, you can see that suede going in. And then there's actually suede on the heel toe, on the heel, sorry, the heel toe, on the heel as well where the Nike symbol is. More suede. Let's pull that right there. See that? Nice, isn't it? And then there's this iguana. Now, Y'all, that iguana touched my soul. Let me tell you why. Because under no circumstance did I expect that the iguana was going to have that little jewel in the eye. So it kind of has a like a gold outer to it and then like the little jewel for the eye. If that ain't sexy, y'all, I really don't know what is. And if y'all don't appreciate that, then y'all just don't appreciate a well-made shoe. So anyway, 
The swoosh, of course, continues with the Day of the Dead symbology and, and markings throughout on the inner, inner side of the shoe. Um, you got that toe box and the side panels. They all have that the same material. And then you got the toe again with, I know it's not, I said bow constrictor. But anyway, it has that same, let me see, get it close up. There we go. It has that same nice little rough kind of bubbled up pattern right there. You can kind of feel it sits up pretty well. Um, outside of that, the shoestrings do kind of have the same color as the midsole, that creamy kind of off-white color. And then <clears throat> the one thing just to bring attention to, and, and it's probably something you really can't tell, or maybe you can. You really can't tell, though, if you're not holding a shoe. So, you know, how you normally have that just kind of like a nylon feeling, um, what you call it, Nike tag. Here, this tag is actually, it feels like a kind of a... A rubberish plastic kind of actually and it's clear you can see I'll put my finger in there you can see my finger through there so um, you got that um, I think for the most part be honest with you this that's that is the entirety of the shoe like I said both shoes are exactly the same out, outside of the insole the insole you know is the only thing that's different this is just a, a, a just a well brought together shoe um, I like it. I like it a lot. I do. I don't know. It's 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 just it makes me want to get that Nike um, Dunk Low um, undefeated that I talked about because I feel like they're almost they're almost like cousins. They're distant cousins, um, and, and and they need they should be in the the collection together. The only thing missing from the shoe, which I'm used to Nike giving, is typically Nike always gives you a spare pair of laces and I personally feel like a spare pair of laces a good color would have probably been probably this red color that's that red right there that would have been the perfect or actually no you know what the orange right there if they would have given us a spare pair of laces it would have been that orange right there in the middle of those circles right there that would have been perfect they didn't either way so I mean I can look no okay okay one more it would have been that the yellow and that iguana. That would have been a real nice hit. God, I can't help myself. This this shoe is really nice, y'all. So anyway, um, if you're lusting for it, you know it's not too far from retail. Like I said, I think I said re retails about one twenty. It's go my in ten and a half. It's last sold for about two hundred five, two hundred six. So you know it's not a far stretch for you for y'all that are used to you know when we don't get something. You know sometimes we gotta stretch out a little bit just to get it. This is not a far stretch. So. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you, if this is something that you like or if you hate, if you plan on getting it, you know, like I said, it's not too bad. You know, we've seen shoes that, that have skyrocketed and this is not by far not the case. Not yet. So anyway, um, guys, I just want to thank you for tuning in. As I said at the beginning of the video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you're notified when I drop, when I, ha when I talk about some new heat, um, let me see. The last thing. What is it today? Let's oh mention real quick. Uh, we talked about no the brotherhoods dropped ahead at today. I did not try for those. Uh, I got some other priorities at the moment. And what else is dropping? I know. I think it's this weekend. The um, what are they? The Yeezy 350 Blues. I'm not sure if that's the exact color. They're dropping this weekend. So. Um, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is the those white shoes. I think those white looking dress Nikes. Um, not exactly my cup of tea. Um, but I, if I will try for them because I want to review them. So you know, like I said, I, I always want to review stuff. So I, I end up going for stuff just for a, a simple review. So either way, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I just want to thank you guys for tuning in, Mr. Gray. Out. <laughs>